Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In Monday's video, I taught you how to add two digit numbers by rewriting the problem vertically. Today we're going to be continuing to solve vertical addition problems, but this time there's going to be something called regrouping. Let's go ahead and get started. This problem says 26 plus 9. Last time we learned that we always want to start with the column that is the furthest to the right. In this case, the ones column. This column over here is called the tens column. So the ones column says six plus nine. Six plus nine is equal to 15. Now here's the problem. 15 is two digits. I can only put one digit into each column. So I can't write the number 15 all into the ones column. Look what happens when I try it. Two plus nothing is equal to two. It looks like the answer is 215. I'm going to put a hundreds chart on the screen. I want you to start at the number 26 and I want you to move your finger forward nine times. And then you tell me, is 26 plus nine 215? able to see by using the hundreds chart that this is definitely the wrong answer. So let me show you how to get the right answer. As I said earlier, 6 plus 9 is equal to 15. The 5 is in the 1's place, so I'm going to write that 5 down here. The 1 in the number 15 is in the 10's place, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that 1 up here on top of the tens column. So I still have both the digits that make up the number 15. I've just got the five down here and the one up here. Now let's take a look at that tens column. Instead of having two plus nothing, now our tens column is one plus two plus nothing. And one plus two plus nothing is equal to three. And hopefully when you use that hundreds chart, you also came up with a sum of 35 because that is the correct answer. Let's do another problem. This problem says 37 plus 15. Let's go ahead and divide the problem so that we can see our ones column as well as our tens column. In the ones column, we've got seven plus five. Seven plus five is equal to 12. I'm gonna go ahead and write that off to the side. The two in the number 12 is in the ones column. So it's okay to write that in the ones column. But this one is in the tens column. So I'm gonna write it on top of the tens column. Now the tens column used to say three plus one. Now it says one plus three plus one. And one plus three plus one is equal to five. So the correct sum is 52. This problem says 65 plus 29. I'm going to start by drawing a vertical line to divide my one and my tens columns. In the ones column, we have five plus nine. Five plus nine is equal to 14. The four is in the ones column, so I'm gonna write the four in the ones column. The one in the number 14 is in the tens column, so I'm gonna write that one on top of the tens column. The tens column used to say six plus two. Now it says one plus six plus two. And one plus six plus two is equal to nine. So the answer to the problem is 94. Let's do one last example together. This problem says 43 plus 27. I'm gonna start by dividing the ones and the tens columns. The ones column says three plus seven. Three plus seven is equal to 10. 
The zero in the number 10 is in the ones place. So I'm gonna write a zero in the ones place. This one is in the tens place. I'm going to write it on the top of the tens column. The tens column used to say four plus two. Now it says one plus four plus two. One plus four plus two is equal to seven. So the answer to the problem is 70. What you learned today is called regrouping. Regrouping is the process of rearranging tens and ones to make it easier to solve a problem. Adding with regrouping can be tough, but what it's doing is it's putting together a lot of the different skills that you've been working on since kindergarten. In order to add with regrouping, you have to understand the difference between ones and tens. You have to know how to add three plus seven and how to add three different add-ins, one plus four plus two. So there are a lot of different skills that are kind of coming together so that you can solve this type of problem. I'm gonna provide a link in the description box to a place where you can get different practice problems for adding two digit numbers with regrouping. I really recommend working under the direct supervision of a parent or an older brother or sister until you get the hang of it. Of course, it's okay to make mistakes, but the problem is if you do 15, 20, 50 problems the wrong way, then doing it the wrong way becomes a habit and habits are hard to break. I want you to get into the habit of solving these problems correctly. So like I said, work with a parent or an older brother or sister until you get the hang of it. That's all for today, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.